Hey, top of the morning, everyone. It is September 2nd, which means it is our fourth day of uh, elk and deer archery season. So, yeah, same old song and dance. We uh, we will plan on going to the top of the mountain, do some spots, see what we can find. First of all, we don't have any extra intel than what we had yesterday as far as show cameras go. But first things first, we've got to enjoy a little bit of coffee. A little chillier this morning than it has been, so I got the the buddy heater running, just warming up a little bit, <laughs> and then I'll get my uh, my morning routine in, a uh, little workout session that'll wake me up and get me rolling a little bit better. So, okay, give me about forty five minutes, and we'll be ready to head out, go hit the top of the mountain, see what uh, today brings. So, okay, here we go again, guys. made it to the top of the mountain where I leave the razor. I think I'm having another change of plans. <laughs> my mind starts running laps on my way up here, thinking about what my best strategy, best chance might be. And I think this morning we're just going to head straight down to my blind while it's still dark. Uh, these bulls have been coming in around this time when it's still dark, but I'm hoping that they're just running a little bit late today and they'll give me a, a half hour give me a little bit of time for this sun to come up so I have some shooting light and then show up. So instead of going and spotting for elk, we're just going to hope that they show up or yes, persuade them to show up even if I have to do a little bit of calling. So hopefully they want to take a mud bath first thing this morning. So that's where we're going to head. Okay guys, see you down the blind. Well, weather like we're getting today doesn't necessarily make for good blind hunting especially over a, a wallow. <laughs> Not too much of a reason to come and roll around in the mud on a day like today where it's nice and cool and, and rainy, water everywhere, but not complaining. We need the moisture. It's been a dry season, that's for sure. But thankful that I'm in a pretty water resistant blind. Got a nice shelter to sit in, and a nice pretty view to watch the lightning storm. So have that going for us. <laughs> Okay, we'll see how long this stuff lasts. Well, the storm cleared out. It's actually a nice, beautiful sunny day now, but I'm sure the, the elk are enjoying that nice little moisture and cool down period we had. But I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. So about an hour and a half ago, it sounds like uh, Blake had some luck and he, he did find his bull, which is awesome. The bad news is, is he's been dead a while and getting pretty, pretty raunchy and stinky. So the meat is, is all shot, he said, which sucks bad. Um, this gives me a twist in my guts. I hate to see an animal go to waste for sure. Um, and I know he's had a roller coaster of emotions the last couple days. There's nothing worse than that. Uh, just not knowing whether the bull survived and it's just injured or if it's dead and you're worried about meat going bad so so he at least has some closure but the bad news is is that a meat's bad he, he said there's evidence that a couple bears got into him looks like there's fresh bear crap around him and he was eating on a little bit too so so that sucks but that's the ups and downs of archery hunting unfortunately and Looking at the pictures, man, he, golly, couldn't have made really a better shot. Maybe a couple inches high, but tucked it right behind the shoulder. Uh, went went in uh, both sides. Didn't uh, the arrow didn't blow through, but you can see it penetrated both sides, uh, and it just it still didn't give him much of a blood trail to follow. So, which is crazy. Uh, he said, marking it on on axes, he was about 500 yards as a crow flies is all it is but it's thick nasty country so uh yeah just not a lot of blood to, f to follow he gritted like crazy and finally just happened to to stumble upon him so yeah that's that uh, i'll have to attach some pictures um like i said it, it just sucks uh there's not a sportsman's out there that that likes to see uh, an animal go to waste like that so 
crappy feeling, but all you can do is is uh, try to make the best shot that you possibly can and do your due diligence in, in trying to track it. And he did both of those. He made a great shot and he worked his butt off all day yesterday trying to find him. And he even went back in again today and finally did locate him. Just didn't find him soon enough, unfortunately. But. Well, it's about 11.30 now, so I um, haven't had any action this morning. So, And with that rainstorm that rolled through, I, I just don't feel confident that's going to be a good wallow day. Uh, most of the time, we don't get a whole lot of action out at these water holes when, when it rains. So I am going to head back up the mountain uh, to the Razor, get a little hike in. Probably take me about oh, a half hour, and then, uh, yeah, get my second 75 hard workout session in so part of that will be this hike and then we'll we'll do a little bit of that outdoor workout so then we can mark that off the list and then i think what i'll end up doing is i have a couple trail cameras uh that i can go check i'll probably hike into them check them see if anything's hit them in the last couple days and then who knows maybe we'll just go hit some tree sections and do a little bit of calling and see if we can get anything to, to talk. I just don't know what else to do. Uh, maybe this evening I'll come back to the water hole, but right now I just don't feel, feel confident about it, so. I well, made it to the top. Uh, left the blind at just a little after 11.30 and it's five after 12 now. So yeah, just about a half hour hike. Pretty good steep hike, no breaks. Got a good sweat roll on, so. We will finish this workout off with the uh, uh, outdoor workout that Vikings and Vixens created, Dustin and the Tanya. So I'll do a little time lapse of that. That's what you'll see next. <laughs> Oh man, that was a butt kicker. <laughs> Thanks Dustin and Tanya for coming up with that workout at uh, Vikings and Vixens. Lots of good outdoor workouts that you guys have put together. So that was a, that was a good one. That one kicked my butt. Got the sweat rolling. I don't know if you can see it dripping. Yep. <laughs> the elk and deer will be able to smell me a mile away now for sure. But Okay. Thanks guys. Well, just got done visiting with Blake. He had his elk all loaded up in the razor he's a pretty happy camper so he had <laughs> quite an event for the last couple days and his work cut out for him hiking into that thick nasty country but still obviously pretty bummed that he didn't find him sooner but it wasn't from a lack of trying that's for damn sure so he worked his butt off for the two full days trying to find that thing and at least he, he got some closure and was able to find it today. Unfortunately, the, the meat was spoiled. But anyways, he's packing camp up, uh, getting ready to come off the mountain. So congratulations again, Blake. It's a dandy bowl. We'll attach a few pictures here for you guys so you can see them. But another, another solid bowl in the book, so good job. Crazy that he, he made the shot on him that he did. And, he went as far as he did and gave him plenty of time to die and still jumped him too. It's unbelievable. I mean, he made a fantastic shot. So tough, tough animals. Sometimes an hour, hour and a half isn't long enough. But, well, guys, here we are again, back in the blind. Been in here probably for the last three hours. I haven't had any action. But right now it is seven o'clock in the evening and from now till just about dark is generally about prime time for these elk to kind of come in and, and take a mud bath. But this weather has been a little bit off today. Had had some pretty good 
moisture this morning and we just barely had a little bit of a lightning storm roll through not a lot of rain this this afternoon but that weather does play a little bit of a, a role in whether these elk hit this follow it seems at least from my experience but uh, earlier in the day when we hiked back up to the top I did go through some trees I did a little bit of dinking around calling cow calling and bugling and stuff just trying to locate some elk but no bueno, no no luck today. So we kind of came into this blind, going into it blind, <laughs> because we didn't do any do any spot this morning. So I haven't seen an elk, period, today. So I have no idea uh, where they may be uh, at, where they would have, which direction they even headed, if they were even in this area this morning. So we're just gonna sit it out here the rest of the evening and, and hope that something strolls through. So, okay. We'll see what happens, guys. Well, that's that. That was day four came to an end. We made it back to camp. Today was a little bit slower than some of our previous days. This morning, we decided to just go straight down to, to the blind instead of sitting in the knob and, and spotting for elk first thing. So, Which, I, I felt like that was the right move. The bulls had been coming into that wallow uh, previous couple mornings. Before light, we were just hoping that they'd show up a little bit later today, but never did. So I had a little bit of weather, got some moisture on the ground, but we gave it a we gave it a shot, anyways. Tomorrow, as of right now, I'm thinking we'll go sit that knob, do some spotting, try to relocate some elk, make sure that they're they're still hanging around this country, and then put a game plan together from there. But, However, I did uh, get a little more hiking around today than I have previous days, so that means we get to eat a little better tonight, which is a plus. I'm excited for some nice hot food. Got the Green Mountain fired up, rolling. It's mellowed out on the smoke a little bit now that's heated up, but we got some El elk burgers cooking, so I'm excited for that. <laughs> it's been a long day, I'm ready for some hot, a nice hot dinner so okay hang with me guys i promise it's only going to get more interesting more entertaining hopefully my goal is to to film some sweet footage of getting some close encounters with some elk and, and hopefully even even some shots so we'll see it's probably going to take some time it always takes work but that is my goal it'd be easiest where i'm kind of solo hunting if i was sitting a blind or a tree stand to to make that happen but We'll, we'll give it a shot. Every scenario scenario is a little bit different. Went to go grab my coffee mug for the morning and would you check this dude out? Holy crap, that thing's a giant. What kind of butterfly or moth is that thing gonna turn into be? Thing's gotta be five inches long. Not kidding, hopefully that thing doesn't curl in bed with me at night. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares. Look at that beast, what kind of caterpillar is that crazy <laughs> oh, I'll show you guys these elk burgers right quick too they're coming along good might have a side of caterpillar with them who knows oh buddy mm -mm. that's gonna be some lean mean protein give me plenty of energy for tomorrow to hopefully go collect some more protein Let's take one more look at this guy. I don't know what to do with him. Kids would probably love taking him home. What a creepy looking crawler that is. Ginormous head, look at those fangs. <laughs> I'm not gonna get much sleep.